After getting early access to play the demo, LEGO Horizon Adventures may just be the best co-op game we see this year. <laughs> Thanks to PlayStation for flying us out to play a hands-on demo, we got to spend an uninterrupted hour exploring its world together. You leave my dad alone! You might think these two game styles are an odd combination, but it just kind of works. So let's break down why this game could be your next favorite co-op experience and why we had so much fun playing it. This is exactly what you might expect a LEGO Horizon game to be. It combines the lore and beauty we love about Horizon's world with LEGO's trademark charm and humor. Throw in cooperative play and you've got a recipe for pure magic. Right from the start, you were hooked. Whether it was laughing at the hilarious cutscenes. Do you cosplay? Because, oh boy, do I have costumes for you. I'm not sure what that is. I'll make you an outfit as soon as I get back. Tirsa, you're looking, um. <laughs> or getting lost in the details of the world. There's a stoplight here. Look at it. I love the cool little animation when we go into the log grass. I like the noise. The world itself is beautiful. It takes everything you love about Horizon's landscapes and reimagines it in classic LEGO form. You still get the signature Horizon mechanics like hiding in the grass, but now the grass is made out of LEGO bricks and you become part of the grass. You've got little grass pieces on your back. And yes, you can still shoot at the machine's weak spots for extra damage. Shining on those targets. Like it's telling me where to shoot. This must be so rare. Like one of a kind. Actually, Tirsa found a whole bag. Always good to have some spares, right? Though it is perhaps a little easier to do. While we didn't get to experience it, the tip menu during loading screens was full of things like water becomes electrified if you hit it with shock damage. Which pointed to some really fun mechanics down the road. What surprised me was how easy it was to jump into. I've never played the original Horizon games, but I didn't feel left out at all. The story is different from the main Horizon series, but you'll still recognize some characters and lore if you've played the originals. And if you haven't, no big deal. I felt like I could follow along and just enjoy the world for what it is. There are hidden chests to discover. A secret? I did. I'm a chest. It's open. Lots of places to explore, and it's packed with surprises and customization. Whoa, they got some crazy stuff going on. Look at that Hot Wheels track. <laughs> <laughs> There are also tons of cool abilities to unlock. You get the usual things like double jumps, <laughs> and a multi-shot bow, but then there's the interesting stuff, like a hot dog cart that throws explosive hot dogs. Hot dog cart. Yeah. So much going on. As you go along, you'll unlock different characters, both in the form of skins to wear, as well as characters to play as. To be a Karja priest, a Karja noble, bast. Oh, I like this chick. And when we unlocked Varl, he came with a spear in comparison to Aloy's bow, and that spear was able to pierce through multiple enemies at once. So I expect that there will be some different abilities in whatever characters we unlock later on in the game. The voice acting really stood out to us too. While it does take longer than just reading text, it adds so much character to the game. It's timed really well and delivers all of its jokes in a satisfying way. It gets funnier every time you say it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the humor is on point, with lots of dry wit and dad jokes that made us chuckle throughout. How many people did they take? You know how hard it is to count without fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I also really enjoyed the introduction of the bad guy. They really nailed that Lego humor while keeping it exciting. Wow. Before me, girl, I am the terror of... Oh, it is this thing working? Is this... Is this... I'm not on mute, Who are you? I am a Wow. And once I deal just... with you, I will fill the world with sunshine! Of course, this is a LEGO game, so you're gonna be able to build some structures here and there throughout the world. But you'll also find yourself working on rebuilding your village in Mother's Heart as you complete levels and collect golden bricks. These buildings will unlock new things for you, like a quest board, character customization, or a place to purchase passive abilities like increasing XP from knocking off robot parts, barrels cause more damage to enemies, or increasing the amount of seconds that enemies stay on fire. But we did have a few small gripes. 
After about an hour of play, we had only really explored one area again and again just outside of Mother's Heart. While it was several different levels, since they were all based in the same area with very small differences, it felt very similar and got a little bit stale. Unfortunately, we had to end our demo right as we were getting to the point of exploring the more interesting parts of the world. We were right in the catacombs of the old civilization. This was a little disappointing, especially if you're coming to the game expecting the open world of Horizon. This is certainly not the same kind of exploration, but we are crossing our fingers that it opens up a little bit more after the point we were at. I think it was more of an intro thing, tutorial thing that kept us in that area, but we won't be able to tell until we actually get our hands on the full game. Yeah, and the hub world building was a bit disappointing. It's mostly cutscenes, so you don't actually interact with it much at the start. There's also a decent chunk of solo play in the beginning before you unlock co-op. But the co-op itself is a blast. We had a great time trying to shoot each other with our bows. At least, I did. <laughs> Stand still. Don't shoot me, no! Stand still! No. Stand still! Ow! Hey! <laughs> Stay away from me. No! No, leave me be! Reviving each other is also a feature, though you may want to clear the area first as it does take a few seconds to actually revive your partner. I got killed! I'm a ghost! Oh man. A little health boost. I can't do it. It takes too much time to revive you. So kill these guys. And of course, there's also a leveling system, so you can gain more hearts and get stronger as you do more in the game. Ow. I'm level three. Ow. Ow. Me too. This is a Lego game, so it's not super difficult. Yeah, this looks like a good difficulty. This what do is, you think? It's Lego. You gotta I go with it. Okay. Sure. We played on the middling difficulty and only died twice between us in the whole hour. It's accessible for kids, but still offers enough depth for adults to enjoy. I did have to lower the sensitivity on the bow aiming, but that's easy to do in settings, and there are other settings you can adjust as well. <laughs> Maybe a two. <laughs> We play mostly couch co-op games on our channel, but this does support online. However, one downside is that the game doesn't support any crossplay, so you're gonna have to play with somebody on the same system as you, whether that be your PS5, your Switch, or your PC. Despite some minor issues, LEGO Horizon Adventures is shaping up to be one of the best couch co-op games of 2024. We still have some other great games coming this year, so check out this video to see the best co-op games that we're expecting. I cannot wait to see you there. We love you guys. Thanks again to PlayStation for flying us out. Y'all are awesome.